Amazon and NVIDIA are deciding to give artificial intelligence a body. We've had years of digital AI, right? Models that can create words, text, images, videos, all that stuff. The next frontier that really matters is physical AI. That's robotics. It could include humanoid robotics, but it's much bigger than that. Any robot that can sense, move, and act in the real world. Now you can take AI and now bring spatial data into the intelligence. And so physical AI is really effectively saying, how do you use spatial awareness and apply that with intelligence to be able to now have actuation done on physical objects and in physical settings? To accelerate that, AWS from Amazon, NVIDIA, and Mass Robotics have just launched the Physical AI Fellowship. It's a new program. There's eight robotic startups that are getting advice, guidance, $200,000 in AWS credits, and access to NVIDIA simulation platforms and engineering support, all that stuff. Super cool. We're going to look at all eight of those startups right now. First one is Bedrock Robotics, and they make autonomous construction machines. This is super tough. Construction environments are dirty, they're busy, they're non-standard, they don't have flat floors, they don't have floors at all sometimes. So San Francisco-based Bedrock Robotics retrofits heavy construction equipment. We're talking excavators, bulldozers, front-end loaders. Give them sensors, compute units, AI software, and they transform those ordinary conventional vehicles into fully autonomous machines that can dig, haul, and grade on their own. And so they specialize in retrofitting existing construction vehicles with sensors, computing hardware, and AI. And you're effectively converting what are you know, conventional excavators and diggers now into autonomous machines. Super, super interesting. Construction is one of the world's toughest, hardest, most dangerous, least automated industries. And Bedrock is showing that physical AI can maybe even work there. Hard, dirty, real world jobs. Number two is Blue Water Autonomy. And they make robotic ships for the open ocean. That's self-navigating surface vessels. It can patrol, transport, perform research missions. It can be military. This can be peacekeeping. This can be anything that you want to do on the water without a human crew. The ocean is also a tough environment. It's unstructured. It's, it's three-dimensional. I mean, you've got waves. You, it's constantly changing. You might have storms. That pushes physical AI to its limits. They use AI-powered perception, planning to make decisions in real time. And uh, yeah, they're going to face wind, waves, weather, and a lot of other things as they try and make that all work. Number three is Diligent Robotics, and they provide humanoid-ish helpers in healthcare. That's a huge problem. That's a real need, especially in elder care, but also in hospitals. Their robot called Moxie handles deliveries, some routine logistics. They free, it frees nurses and staff to focus on care. They're based out of Austin, Texas, and they actually develop foundation models for autonomous humanoid robotics with human-facing environments. Mm. They have a socially intelligent robot which actually is operating in 25 different hospitals today. It's a real world example of physical AI safely collaborating with people. And eventually there will be more coming there as well. The fourth startup is Generalist AI. And that is a startup that's super cool. It's interesting. It's teaching robots to learn like humans. Most robots, won't be a surprise to you, are specialists. They're very good at one very narrow task. They don't learn a lot. They don't do a lot of different stuff. But when we want robots in our environment, in the built environment, in the human environment, maybe the home, maybe a factory, they need to be good at a lot of different things in a lot of different spaces in and around other machines, in and around people. Generalist AI is building foundation model systems so that machines can learn multiple skills and adapt to new ones and new environments. If they succeed, robots can be super flexible, super trainable, kind of like humans. And it's a big leap from the sort of scripted automation that most robots have been built with and function with in the workplace uh, to sort of genuine embodied intelligence. 
Number five is Robco. They make modular robotics for small manufacturers. That's really interesting, actually, because often robotics is a massive investment. You see it on the big assembly line making cars or other things like that. Robco makes modular robotic arms that can be reconfigured for different production tasks. They've got no code software, snap together hardware. So smaller and medium sized manufacturers can automate without a huge engineering overhead and huge cost. That brings the power of physical AI to the long tail of industry. Really, really interesting. Something that eventually you or I could have in our garage as we have a hardware startup, who knows? Number six is tutor intelligence, and it's not about teaching. <laughs> this is AI-driven warehouse automation. Tutor intelligence offers robots as a service, systems that can handle palletizing, warehouse logistics, computer vision, reinforcement learning, all that stuff. They focus on really fast deployment, pay-as-you-go pricing, so you don't have the huge bill right off the top, and helping companies of any size automate safely and efficiently. Number seven is Wandercraft. That's super interesting. It's powered exoskeletons that help us move naturally. So maybe I've got disabilities. Maybe I've had injuries. Maybe I can't walk the way I used to walk. Uh, maybe I just need to carry lots of heavy stuff and I need a powered exoskeleton. So this is a Paris-based company, Wandercraft. They design powered exoskeletons, help people with walking. Uh, if, you, if you have an impairment, they can help you walk, stand, move naturally. They have self-balancing design, so it blends robotics, control theory, AI to restore mobility. That's amazing. That's huge. The eighth and final physical AI startup that Amazon and NVIDIA are investing in is Zordi, and they make autonomous farm robots. Farm robots, ag tech, farm tech, that's super huge. There's a real need for more labor where food is being produced, right? And they build AI-driven agricultural robots that monitor crops, they detect ripeness, they harvest with very delicate precision. Their vision shows, hey, you know what? We can maybe feed the planet uh, with robotics as well, safely, efficiently, sustainably. So these are super cool startups, super interesting startups in a lot of different spaces. We've got bulldozers, we've got hospitals, we've got workshops, we've got strawberry fields. And these eight startups show how AI is escaping the computer, escaping the lab, escaping the office, going out into the real world in robotics, embodied intelligence, entering our workspaces, maybe our homes eventually as well. That's eight startups. We got two AI giants, obviously in Amazon and Nvidia, especially Nvidia in terms of hardware, especially Amazon in terms of software. And it's very cool that they're teaming up with Mass Robotics to help startups get uh, get ahead, figure out what they need to figure out, and deliver products that are going to be super successful. This is physical AI. It's just getting started. There's so much more. Obviously, there's the whole world of humanoid robotics as well. I'll be talking more about that later. If you like this, hit subscribe, hit like, leave a comment, question, insult, whatever, and uh, you'll see more in the future.